Despite losing the trial against Johnny Depp, Amber Heard still has a lot going on, both good and bad. For starters, she has her 14-month-old daughter Unak Page to take care of. Initially, it was believed that Amber would keep her head down and forget about this mess for a while. However, she decided to give an interview that left her in an even more difficult situation. A few weeks ago, she went on and filed an appeal, and Wayne Dennison, one of Depp's lawyers, is furious at these futile endeavors by the Aquaman actress. So, what else did Amber do that pissed off Dennison? Let's find out. Losing the defamation case in no way indicates that Amber Heard is giving up on her attempt to take down Johnny Depp. Despite what the jury ruled, she is still sticking to her story about sexual and domestic abuse. The interview she did after the verdict was read showed that she is far from walking away from that story, but she needs a breather to regroup and start her strategy again. That, however, doesn't sink in well with many Depp fans, including one of his standout lawyers, Wayne Dennison. For starters, Amber Heard's lawyers made a last-ditch effort to have the case dismissed, only for the judge to deny their request. Before starting their case, Amber's lawyers asked Judge Penny Asker to dismiss the case, saying Johnny Depp had not proven his claims. Judge Penny denied the request regarding two statements in the Washington Post op-ed because there was a scintilla of evidence a jury may find that they were defamatory. The judge held off ruling on a third statement in the opus ed because the relevant evidence had not been brought in yet. The request sparked angry exchanges in court, with both sides strongly making their arguments. Amber's lawyer Benjamin Rodernborn said that if the court agrees that Depp abused Amber even one time, she wins. It's that simple. In this case, Your Honor, if Mr. Depp abused Ms. Heard physically, verbally, emotionally, or psychologically even one time, then she wins on those claims. Then she wins. It's that simple. Rottenborn said that the evidence Depp abused the actress physically and verbally was overwhelming and undisputed. Then after weeks of grueling cross-examinations, accusations and counter-accusations, the verdict was read out. And then Amber struck again, claiming it was unfair. The actress alleged the wrong juror showed up to Depp's defamation trial against her and wanted it to be declared a mistrial. In documents filed with the Circuit Court of Fairfax County, Amber's lawyers claimed she was entitled to a mistrial based on newly discovered facts and information that juror number 15 was not the individual summon for jury duty on April 11, 2022. The documents claimed the person who was selected for the jury was 77 years old at the time and shared the same last name and address as someone who was 52. The actress's legal team alleged it was actually the younger person, not the older one who was actually summoned, who served as a juror in the six-week trial. It is deeply troubling for an individual not summoned for jury duty nonetheless to appear for jury duty and serve on a jury, especially in a case such as this. The filing said, noting the high-profile status of the trial where the fact and date of the jury trial were highly publicized prior to and after the issuance of the juror summonses. Then after failing in that quest, Amber finally filed for an appeal. Her lawyers had announced they would appeal immediately after the jury found on June 1st that she had defamed Depp by publishing an opus ed in the Washington Post in which she described herself as a public figure representing domestic violence. The jury held that the statement was false and was made with actual malice. We believe the court made errors that prevented a just and fair verdict consistent with the First Amendment. Amber's spokesperson said, We are therefore appealing the verdict. While we realize today's filing will ignite the Twitter bonfires, there are steps we need to take to ensure both fairness and justice. It is this kind of persistence that is infuriating Dennison among other fans who believe Depp is innocent. As for how far Amber will go, that remains to be seen. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye!